Hey guys, what's up? This is the Bull. I'm here this morning at the Rabbit Tree, and um, just want to give you a little update. This little, um, this little Kim, inside in her little party area. This morning. Pookie is digging out their burrow. Just I mean, they've been working at it for the last couple of days. He's there right now, pushing dirt out. Let me see if I can get you all a better shot. As, he, as you can see from time to time you'll see dirt flying out I think Pookie went went down deep. But anyway, he's down there working away at his uh, burrow. See if I can get you all a picture of... Get you... Get you all some action from Laquita, my little white doe. She's the younger one here in the um, of the pack. She's there enjoying her fodder. Gave her some fresh fodder this morning. They love this fodder stuff. I tell you. So she's enjoying her fodder. Um, you know, I leave I leave the cages open, the hut open all night, so they can you know do whatever they want to do. They can run in and out of their out of their hut. But as you can see, Laquita, she's like really dirty. So they're not even sleeping inside the hut at night. They're going into the burrows to sleep and then they come out at they come out early in the morning well I don't know if they're sleeping but they're definitely staying in the burrows in there and when I come out in the morning to feed them they're out here waiting on me even though they got plenty plenty of stuff to eat to forage around they got Timothy Hay inside their hut uh, ho however they wait on me because you know I give them some carrots and I give them um, some fodder and I fill up their uh, their grain. So they'll be waiting on me. They're just like your puppies, you know. When it's time to eat, you know they're they're waiting. They're waiting at their dish. Um, I wish I wish Pookie would come out come out so I could actually you could see him there throwing that dirt out. But however, as you can see. I think Ricky explained earlier in one of the videos, you can see all this dirt that's piled up right there. And that's from, from them kicking the dirt out from their burrow. It's amazing how deep how deep these burrows go. You know, they're probably down there five, six feet. But anyway, you know, I'm hoping I'm hoping they'll have their their baby bunnies, their kids, inside their hut. Because you know, inside their hut, they have their houses that I that I built for them, so they can um, 
you know, stay warm and also have a place of refuge in case they have to run into their hut and duck into there. Um, I'm noticing by doing a little potty area inside the cage, as you can see, they use it just like a little potty area and they, they go there 80, 90% of the time. They do not, they do not party inside their little house. Um, by having the little party area, they do not party inside their little house. Um, I noticed in some videos, people be saying, oh, don't put, don't put the little house in there because they just use it as a little party area. But if you have the space inside your hut to make them a little corner party area, they'll just go and party in, party in inside the party area. These rabbits are smart, you know what I mean? They don't want to be sitting up on all that, all them, all them droppings and stuff. They're constantly grooming themselves and they keep themselves clean pretty much. So they don't want to party inside their little house. They keep it nice and clean. Over here, this is my secondary spot where um, I put some logs and stuff like that and they immediately um, took to it and started borrowing inside down here. So they got there secondary barrel most of the time I see uh, the white one the white doe Laquita using this using this um, one but anyway I thought I'd give you a quick update this morning of the rabbitry and the rabbits have a nice day and as always peace from the bull